Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our boost control feature in our ECM Link software. So the boost control feature is gonna allow us to control a three or four port boost solenoid. That's gonna give us the ability to increase our boost past our wastegate spring level if we have an external wastegate or if we have an internal wastegate assembly, internal wastegate actuator, we can go above and beyond what that rate of pressure is going to be at. So if we have a seven pound spring, we can typically go up to 20 or 30 pounds of boost if we have an external wastegate in a decently sized turbo we're able to go in and control the boost in an open or a closed loop method. Now the open loop method is going to be very simplistic. It's going to allow us to just program a certain amount of duty cycle to the boost solenoid and increase the boost. And we're able to accomplish this based on gear and engine RPM. So it's relatively straightforward to do the open loop method. Now the closed loop method is going to take things a step further and actually allow some correction to be made by the ECU to hit a target boost that we're going to be specifying. I'm gonna walk you through how to accomplish both the open and closed loop method in this video so you're able to get your boost control dialed in on your vehicle properly. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at the boost control in our ECM link tuning software. We're gonna find that we have the ability to control a three or a four port boost solenoid, whether it's gonna be an internal wastegate or external wastegate, we can utilize this to hit the desired boost that we'd like. Now we can use the open loop tuning method or the closed loop tuning method where we provide a target boost and we'll have the actual ECU try to reach that target and make adjustments so we maintain a consistent amount of boost. And we'll go over all the details that we need to program either method, but let's first take a look at the different sections here that we have to work with in the boost control. We'll find under the live section where we can actually live edit as we're doing our tuning process under our boost tab here. We're gonna find that we have our parameters to edit and work with. We have our boost target table. This will be associated with giving that target level for closed loop control. We also have our base duty cycle table. This will be associated for open loop control. So we'll be talking about both of these. We're actually gonna be using the base duty cycle table in the closed loop routine, but we'll just be exclusively using the base duty table for open loop tuning. Now we also have our other section for boost control here under the direct access. We're gonna find we have our wastegate error correction and we have our wastegate trim. So both of these are gonna be used in the closed loop method, not in the open loop. But let's go back in here and talk about our boost control we have in our live section. Now before we begin going through this, we need to make sure that our boost solenoid is gonna be installed correctly. And that's going to be proprietary to what kind of wastegate we're working with. If we're using an internal wastegate, we need to make sure that we have our port configuration correct. So coming up on the screen, I have a schematic of how you should have your three port boost solenoid connected to a internal wastegate assembly. So port two is gonna be going to the actual wastegate uh, canister or the, uh, the uh, actuator. And then port three will be coming to the boost pressure source. And in this configuration, port one will act as a vent. Now, when we're working with this, if we're programming our values here in our base duty cycle table, this is gonna represent moving the duty cycle around from zero to 100%. Zero, meaning that the boost solenoid is not gonna be energized, it's not gonna be controlling and doing anything, and 100 being fully energized and fully open or fully closed, depending on how we're gonna be utilizing it. So if we have our internal wastegate utilizing ports two and three, it'll have in the status here of zero in the table, our solenoid will be fully open. So it's gonna be flowing from port two to three. It would be like the boost solenoid's not there. But when we go and turn the values up, hi. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.